Hi there. In this video, I'm going to help you set up a basic UI from start to finish to help start understanding how you can utilize the HUD layout and UI to your advantage depending on roles and wants. This can be used for either PC or console. A big thank you to Tea with Bears for subscribing on Patreon. You rock, as well as a personal thank you for being a wonderful mod of my Discord. First, we will reset the UI to default so then you can start from the same beginning. The first thing we're going to do is minimize a lot of these windows. This allows you to see more of the game and less of things that are not pertinent to battle. Now this will depend on if you're playing on monitor or TV. As if you're playing on a TV, I would keep things rather large because you have a lot more space to work with. But since I play on a monitor, I really like to maximize all the space and make everything tiny and move them to the corners. Things like the map and duty list, I like to adjust as they're not as important to me personally. The job gauge I'm going to move out of the way for now until I decide on an overall theme of what I'm going for and where I would like it. Since I am on white mage for this alt, I have moved the party closer to the middle of the screen in order to keep a tight eye on the party's members health. I generally move all the hotbars to the left just to get them out of the way and condense them. You can also change the view to system in order to work on just the things you want to work on. So I have switched to system view in order to not see the hotbars at this point. Alliance raid 1 and 2 are when you do 24 man content and I generally like to keep them to the right near my cross hotbar. Out of the way but still viewable. I generally like my sections very small to keep things clean and neat on screen. The target info bar has to be one of the most important items on the HUD layout as it gives you a ton of information. This is up to you. I really like it just to the right of my character on screen. I have seen others put it to the top or to the left. It's just dependent on your natural viewing tendencies. You will want to split out the target bar independently so you can adjust the different sizes and sections. Essentially, the HB target bar runs big, so I like to shrink this down just a little bit. And the progress bar is the utmost important piece as it shows the next moves that the enemy is going to be doing, which is integral for avoiding mechanics and understanding fights. I make sure this is really big, about 140 or so, as it's going to be integral for any job you play. If you get nothing else from this video, just adjust the progress bar. The last part is target info status, which is the debuffs or buffs the target has. I usually like to keep everything close together, so I just plop it right underneath the progress bar and make minor adjustments as I play through dungeons. Another important bar is going to be the status effect bar. This can be displayed as a single element, three groups, or four groups. I generally keep it three, but the fourth has its benefits for certain jobs, let's say monk for example. The fourth is the conditional status, which shows monk's leaden fist separately, which allows you to adjust and move it somewhere where it's more noticeable, as it's really pertinent to monk's rotation. I like to put the conditional hotbar right over my cross hotbar so I can see things that matter for my rotation rotation. Enhancements and enfeeble status bars I put to the right again below the target bar. This allows all the information I need to see directly to the right of my character which makes it really easy to determine what needs to be done in different situations rather I have a debuff or certain status enhancements. I'm going to move my enhancements bar to the left just to see if that makes any difference. I usually keep it to the right but this is all about trying new things to see what works. A lot of this is trial and error to which we will go to the striking dummy and check it out. If you also notice, I like to keep the status info other at the top of the screen as it shows free company buffs and other things that are not really relevant to fighting. Next up, we're going to go into character configuration, UI settings. We're going to go to general and turn off the active windows and display help text. Just things that pop up that are kind of annoying. We're also going to turn off the recommendations and play guide as those pop up when you log in every single time and are also very annoying. We are going to tab over to the HUD and enlarge the damage text since I feel like it's a little too small. I personally don't like to see the inventory grid so I do turn that off but I know a lot of players who do like to keep this on. And the adjusted number of duties display to 1 so they don't take up more space on my screen. I do like to have a Yorzia time viewable for all sorts of reasons like G pose, gathering and such, but I do turn off my current world name as I don't do a lot of cross world traveling and I don't feel like it's important to know. What is important though, if you're getting any value out of this video, then make sure to hit that like button. We will go down to target and make sure to click on display targets remaining HP percentage as this is integral for battles. It's so nice to see how much percentage you have left for limit breaks and overall information. 
Lastly, on the party list tab, this is pretty important to me. I like to change the full name display to sure name abbreviated to save some space in the party list and adjust status effects icons to eight since sometimes they can have so many you can miss them or a debuff they might have that you need to be able to see. This last part is important for healers in my opinion, but what this means is when you're either a tank, healer, or DPS, you can adjust how the party list roles are displayed. So for healer, I like to keep the DPS at top and the tank at the bottom. This is mostly for Astro card play for casual players. There are other ways to throw out cards for Astros, but I see most of it in Savage Rating and it takes a few more minutes to set up. From here, you can adjust the roll sort settings which again is most important for Astro. When we click in here, we're going to ignore the tank and healer sections for now and go straight to DPS. I like to put the hardest hitting DPS up top generally. Now, of course, this is dependent on party and their own skill level, but I like to keep a melee and a ranged DPS up top and just make a basic tier list kind of. So for me, that is Reaper, Black Mage, Samurai Monk, Ninja, Red Mage, and the rest just kind of there. So when you have DPS roles enter your party, either in trials or alliance raids, you will see them sorted as you set up here. Now, I'm just gonna quickly change some cross hotbar things, which I will not cover here as I have a dedicated video for cross hotbar setup, and I will link it below and at the end of this video. Now, I recommend going over to a striking dummy or out in the world to mess around a little bit with that you have set up and add or subtract anything you do or don't like. I also summoned the chocobo so I can see the party list and adjust that as well. So I'm going to move it all the way up to the left to the top because I am on a monitor so I don't have to look far to see it. I'm going to adjust the progress bar even a little more and move enhancements back to the right as I'm not really liking it to the left. The last most important feature for me in the UI is changing the display names. Now this is entirely my preference, but I like to turn everything to show only when targeted. So then I don't have a bunch of names everywhere on my screen. I do keep friends always showing, because when I run into the people, I like to see them out in the world and say hello. I also like to keep NPCs always showing so I know what is an NPC and what is not, and it kind of helps me determine quests and targetable NPCs. You can see from start to finish that the change in the screen is looking even cleaner than before, which is the goal. Now from here, you can literally adjust anything you would like to fit your needs. I like to put some abilities on a hotbar or create a hotbar menu. As you can see, I like to start with the minimal that I need and then add in all the extras later on, depending when I play through a dungeon or information I might need but didn't realize I needed when I set this up. If you want to see more advanced UI setups and some cool niche things you can do, then Limit Break through that subscribe button and leave a comment down below for me so I know that you would like to see that. Now, of course, this all goes without saying that you need to do what's right for you. This is just giving you a little bit of a template so then you have somewhere to start because it can be pretty overwhelming. I really hope that this video has helped you in some kind of way. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, though, you can click here.